Hello and welcome back, my friends. If you're new here, my name is Laura and I usually make videos about hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome to help educate, raise awareness, and share my experiences and advice living with this condition. But today I'm straying away from my usual hypermobile EDS content to talk about cardiac valvular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. This is part of a series where I give each of the 12 rarer subtypes of EDS their own introductory educational video. I have a few videos out already and stay tuned for future videos in this series. So what exactly is cardiac valvular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome? Cardiac valvular EDS is an extremely rare genetic connective tissue disorder that causes severe and progressive heart valve problems, skin hyperextensibility, meaning stretchy skin, and joint hypermobility, meaning joints that move past a normal range of motion. Cardiac valvular EDS belongs to a group of 13 related but separate genetic connective tissue disorders known as the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes. The hypermobile subtype of EDS, which is the type that I have, is by far the most common, accounting for about 90% of all EDS cases. The cardiac valvular subtype is extremely rare and accounts for less than 1% of all EDS cases and has a prevalence of less than 1 in a million people. Cardiac valvular EDS is caused by a genetic variant found on the COL1A2 gene. This genetic variant negatively affects the way the body produces connective tissue, which provides support, protection, and structure throughout the body. Cardiac valvular Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern. This means if a person inherits the genetic variant from both of their parents, they will have cardiac valvular EDS. People with only one copy of the genetic variant are carriers of cardiac valvular EDS, and carriers do not have the condition themselves, but may pass the genetic variant onto their children. Cardiac valvular EDS is diagnosed through genetic testing, and genetic testing should be considered on anyone who meets the diagnostic criteria for this rare condition. To meet the diagnostic criteria for cardiac valvular EDS, a person must meet major criterion 1 and have family history compatible with autosomal recessive inheritance and meet at least one other major criterion, or a person must meet major criterion one and have family history compatible with autosomal recessive inheritance and meet at least two minor criteria. Major criterion one is the presence of severe and progressive heart valve problems. Major criterion two is the presence of skin involvement, including skin hyperextensibility, atrophic scars, meaning scars that indent into the skin, thin skin, and easy bruising. Major criterion three is joint hypermobility that can be either generalized, meaning widespread throughout the body, or the hypermobility can be limited to just the joints of the hand and feet. The four minor criteria are the presence of inguinal hernias, which are hernias in the groin area, pectus deformities, meaning having a deformity of the breastbone and rib cage that causes either a concave or convex appearance of the chest, joint dislocations, and foot deformities. Because cardiac valvular EDS is a genetic disorder that you're born with, there is no cure, but there are treatment options available. Cardiac valvular EDS is managed by treating the various symptoms that each individual is experiencing. There's no one-size-fits-all treatment. Key aspects of care will usually focus on the monitoring and management of the heart valve issues. Treatment options to help the many other symptoms of cardiac valvular EDS may include medication, pain management, joint bracing, mobility aids, surgery, and physical therapy. Do you or anyone you know have cardiac valvular EDS? Let me know down in the comment section. I'd love to hear your story. If you thought this video was helpful, please click on the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't worry, it's completely free. If you click on the notification bell icon, you will be notified when I release new videos. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.